<laughs> I don't know anything about the bond. Okay, so I don't know anything about the bond. I know nothing about the bond. <laughs> Something I know about the bond is that the whole school is getting new netbooks. The only things I know about the bond are that they're resurfacing the track and they're doing a bunch of construction on the school. With the bond, we've incorporated a major component of technology. Uh, the bond total was around six and a half million dollars and we are looking to invest about 1.3, just under 1.3 million dollars specifically for technology components. Don, every room has a budget or every department, stuff like that. Like my room had a certain set budget, it was to buy new computers. The basis of the technology is the upgrading of our infrastructure, the addition of devices for students, and the upgrading of the devices with inside the actual classrooms. All the rooms are getting a projector, a new projector screen, a little like uh, technology station, so they're going to be able to um, put like a document camera on it. It's going to have HDMI. We're going to be able to put our, our new laptops on there as well. Okay, so what we're going to end up doing with our technology on a per student basis is we're looking to try to incorporate devices for a one-to-one -one setting. At the elementary school, uh, there were decisions that were made by the elementary staff uh, over a period of time that we felt tablets would actually be the best for those students and that would be grades K through 5. At the middle school and high school, those same conversations were held, but the decision came more along the lines that uh, it would probably be more like a Chromebook as opposed to a tablet. My take on the laptops is that personally it's probably going to be a disaster because everyone, some of them will probably get damaged because of people not taking care of them. But on the other side, people, it should be a help for people that need them that can use them in a positive manner. Standardized, what I mean is we have, uh, all the classrooms are going to have some of the same equipment. So if the teachers move around or the students can expect kind of the same thing. Also, a lot of students, or a lot of schools are upgrading now because there's actually, uh, all students are going to have to be tested on computers soon, and so we're going to need all every kid to have access to some sort of device. And our problem is we're not buying 20,000. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the sad thing is you've got schools that are. So we're only purchasing our total number. We've got 650 kids approximately. So it, what seems like a large number to us, that's not even a high school in a lot of places. So Mr. Simmons just visited Kenoa Hills High School and Granville High School and looked to see what they had already done with their one-to-one. -one. So Granville High School is what, 1,700, 1,800 students? So that's just their high school. So we don't necessarily have as much leverage as what some of the other large schools have, but sometimes you can buy on the statewide bid packages and you can get better pricing. I, I think the biggest, I, I don't want to say it's a negative thing, it's just a lot of change. And it's going to take people to get used to it. You know, they're going to have to, if all these kids have student devices all of a sudden, that could impact the classroom negatively if a teacher didn't know how to use them effectively. Um, but it could be a positive thing, and it should be a positive thing, as long as teachers know how to use them. So it's going to be a lot of change. I mean, uh, you know, there's, we're getting a hallway and stuff like that. That's going to be different. Um, so I think there's, gonna, there's always some growing pains, but I, I think overall it's definitely in the right direction. So with regards to the community, I think there are always concerns whenever you have a bond to make sure that you're being a good financial steward of the money that you have. Um, when we look at our overall bond vote, I was thoroughly impressed with the support the community provided us with having over 70% of the vote being in favor of this bond issue. That tells us that in the past we've been pretty good partners with the community. We've made good financial decisions. And that tells us that they have a lot of trust in the decisions that we're making with students moving forward. And that's a really encouraging spot to be at. But I can also respect why some people would have questions as far as why does the school need to have the money now? Because from a financial standpoint, the economy hasn't picked back up. And it is a burden that, that we are asking parents and the community members to assume financially. The good thing about this bond specifically was it was not an addition of the millage rate to the properties that they had. We just asked for an extension. I want to thank the community for passing it. Um, you know, like in this classroom, things are going to be much better and faster. Um, we'll be able to do more, do it faster, and uh, it's, it's just really nice to have equipment that students could see possibly in their college careers or also, you know, what professionals use. So with regards to our bond, we're really excited about the opportunities we have. We want to make sure that students at PW will get quality education, the right opportunities, and will graduate knowing that whatever their future holds, whether it's a technical school, whether it's a community college, whether it's a four-year college or university, that our students are not 
going to only be able to attend there, but they're going to be able to excel.